Am I a great cook? I guess we're gonna find out. Seasoning, example dish, advanced buying, kitchen trip. By the way, this is pre-release. It comes out on the 6th of June. Uh, there may be bugs. This is a press release copy. It may crash. It may be glitchy. Who knows? Just makes it more fun, right? Looks like a Dakota. I don't know the history of it. Seasoning. Let's have a look. Hang on. Kitchen trip. Let's have a look at the kitchen trip. Can't cook, won't cook. Version 0.94. There's not even any voiceover. Are you kidding me? Today I'll give you a quick tour of the kitchen. Stay focused. You'll need to memorize all of this. We can't have you wandering around searching for stuff. Go to the marker. What? No. I feel like I'm gliding around. Like I don't have feet. Or a shadow. Look at that. I don't exist. I'm like ethereal. Always getting angry. Go to the marker. Chill storm. Absolutely no problem, sir. You sort yourself out. Chill storm. Don't worry about subbing. It's all good. You sort yourself out and your kids. Come back here from when you can. Mr. Raye gifted a sub to TMJ Fox 20. Squatting down. Paper bag on head. <laughs> and fleas. Why is there a dartboard? Who knows? Raye, thank you very much for gifting five subs. That's super, super kind. And holy moly. Harm 27. Hey, Whiteland, I got you, bro. I got you, Whiteland. Finally. Mr. Raye. Sorry, Harm 27. Harm 27 has just dropped 20. 20 subs. That's insane. Thank you so much, Harm. That's very, very, very kind. If you just got gifted a sub, please remember to thank the person who gifted it to you. It could be Harm, it could be Raya right now. But please remember to give them a thank you. And Gigi, thanks. Thanks very much for the support, guys. I better go to the marker. This guy's getting real stroppy. Here you will find mostly vegetables, some fruit, bread, and buns. Some of the products you will need to unlock by learning new recipes. Remember that. You'll need to pay for the products and be sure to bring a container if you want to carry more than one. Okay. Here you will find plate stacks. Once you have paid for every single one, once the dish is served, the price of the plate will be added back to your account. You can also use plates to carry things around the kitchen, but be careful. These things break easily. Go to the marker! Even more important to the cardboard boxes. Trouble finding something? You can buy one from a box. These shelves are used to store herbs. Just as with everything else, the herbs have to be purchased. You pay for every twig or leaf you take. Go to the next marker! Right, have you got all that? Veg and buns and stuff. And we need to learn more stuff to get more stuff. Boxes in case we want to buy things. Plates that we have to buy and then we get paid when we sell the plate or something when we serve it. Looks like herbs and spices to me. Basically, we have to buy everything. So the more stuff you break, the more it costs you. Go to the marker! Juke to juke. Thank you for seven months. Welcome back. Looking forward to today's stream. Soul Train with four months. Chill Storm has been gifted... A sub by Pringles Leaf. Thank you very, very much, Pringle. Chillstorm, you've got your sub back, bro. Courtesy of Mr. Pringle. Lampenbauer, I would wish I wouldn't develop a panic disorder a few years ago. I would still be able to fly as a passenger. Uh, are or were you ever scared while flying as a passenger or pilot? Lovely weekend to everyone. Um, I think the only time I've ever been scared in a plane was the very, very, very first time I went for a trial flight, and the instructor just killed the throttle and dropped us like a brick out the sky. At that point, I was pretty terrified. Not because I was frightened of gliding down, but because I was frightened of his skills. My life was in his hands, and I didn't like that very much. <laughs> but other than that, I've been fine. Kid Funkadelic, welcome back. Uh, crumbs on the floor with 18. Go to the marker! Jesus, guy's pushy. 
This is a refrigerator. Here you can buy fish, meat, cheese and fruit. Some of the products are hidden in the drawers or at the bottom of the fridge. That sounds like my fridge. Go to the next market. <laughs> Oh, the really rubbish gamer. Thank you for 17. And Rye, of course, I want a squirrel. I want to catch up on my missing missing of gifting subs. But in all seriousness, you're the best streamer. Thank you very much, sir. That's really kind of you. Gifting to a community like that is really awesome. Thank you. This griddle is used for searing and frying as long as the recipe doesn't call for any fat, such as oil. Most meat needs to be fried on both sides, so don't forget to flip it. The stove is your best friend. Here you can boil, fry, even grill. With the right pan, of course. Under the stove, there's a backup oven. Remember that pots and pans come in different sizes and shapes. Just because there are six burners doesn't mean you can fit six containers on the stove at the same time. Go to the next marker. Mr. Whiteland, there it is. He's finally got his 70. This is a subscriber. You can only get more by streaming. Go to the next marker. Thank you, Island. Bobcat Bill, thanks for 49. If you wish, you can cut on, uh, on any flat surface. Just grab a knife. However, the proper way to use is a cutting board. On the shelves below, you'll find pans, and behind you, there are pots stored on another shelf near the floor. Go to the market. <laughs> Agador Spartacus, thank you for the uh, support there. If you don't feel the need to prepare before the workday or you're done for the day, you can use the clock to skip the preparation phases at the beginning and end of each day. You'd hate to work for this guy, you're not kidding. Use the faucet mainly to fill pots. Most recipes usually assume that you'll use cold water, so stay away from the red handle unless you're told to use it. This oven is for baking. Be sure to use baking trays. You can find them to the right. Remember, you can bake multiple different dishes at the same time. The upper switch turns the oven on and off. The lower controls the heat. Baking times correspond to the first setting, so be careful not to burn your dish. Jeez, man. Anybody else feeling a bit overloaded with information right now? What was the red handle he was talking about? Is he about that one? I take it that's soap. So what did he say? I will, I will never again put a fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's a timer though, you see it? Average Aussie Gamer, thank you for 21 months. These are deep fryers, they're empty. You need to push the left button to fill with oil. The right button drains the tank. Oh, and don't forget to use fryer baskets unless you want third degree burns. Well, this one's pretty obvious. The grill is for grilling. Just don't forget to flip whatever you're cooking. Most recipes require that. Why would you use a grill or... The griddle? Like, what's the difference? Grill party every afternoon. Those were the days. Welcome back. The food processor. Throw the ingredients inside and push the button. Presto, you've got yourself a liquid blend. You can always taste it if you forget what's inside. Microwave oven. I don't know what this thing is. In a respectable kitchen, best you forget it's here. <laughs> Welcome back. And this, this shows why this place nearly closed down. The last cook didn't even bother to bring darts, he threw knives instead. <laughs> you what, mate? What kind of kitchen is this? It's even got like a scoreboard, this is insane. Holy sub bomb! Who was that? Damn Rofat. Dan Rofat just gifted five subs to the community. Thank you very, very much, Dan Ro. If you just got gifted a sub, please remember to thank him. Thank you so much. Super, super kind. We can use these to the screens of the kitchen to view your current orders, time left, and recipe details. They're really useful. So it's like McDonald's, isn't it? GG, Dan. Thank you, sir. 
It's like McDonald's where it has like the orders and stuff up here and you've got to try and make it in time. Uh-oh, what's this? This is your desk. The radio looks old, but don't be fooled. You can set it up to play your own MP3s, uh, even internet radio stations. The laptop won't cook for you, but it will help run the place. I'm sure the manager will explain everything in detail. Wait, he's not the manager. He's the Gordon Ramsay, isn't he? The phone will come in handy when something breaks down. Just pick it up and walk to one of them needs maintenance. Choose a service completely wisely. Fast and cheap should be a warning sign. Stuff might break before they even leave. Lol. Yeah, the laptop's got my logo on it. How does that work? Can you see that? That's actually quite clever. Happy anniversary. Playing games at work is fun. You're going to need those numbers. Yeah, you, I can't think. It must have got my Steam profile picture. That's the only thing I can think of. It's a good idea, though. Happy anniversary, Nutter. And here's the checkout. Put your dish on the shelf and choose from the tablet which order you're about to serve. Just don't mix things up. Once it's out, it's out. And the final station, the garbage bin. If it's not good enough for you, it's not good enough for your guests. Keep that in mind. All right, that was just a tour, but I hope you learned something. A true chef needs to know his kitchen inside out. Phew, we're getting an exam on this. Yikes. Right, I think after the kitchen tour, we should go for the example dish. And then we can do some seasoning. And then some advanced buying, maybe. Welcome. Elgar, how you doing? Lord Imperius, just a quick resub before bed. Keep being awesome. Dude, have a good sleep. Thank you for 31 months. Uh, open. I think it's time you've served your first dish. Don't worry, I'll be here to guide you through the process. Uh, it's actually blocked out loads of kitchen. This isn't a test, but if you run into trouble performing any of the tasks presented, try one of the earlier lessons. Wait, what? Does it mean the seasoning lesson? Should I have done the seasoning lesson? To the nut house. Your order will be steak with a side of french fries. Simple yet nuanced. There's no actual guest. Look behind you, that's the checkout window. Once we're done, you'll need to place the order on the shelf and use the tablet to confirm. Look, someone's ordered a dish. Every time a client orders something, you'll be notified in the upper left corner of the screen. Notifications will also appear when you have only a minute left to complete a dish, you're slightly late, or when a client gives up waiting and goes home. That'll never happen. That'll never happen. To the nut house. See that? That's your order. Walk up to the display and press left on the... Steak with french fries. Oh my god. Take a good look at this screen. To the left, you've got a, a list of ingredients, and to the right, what you have to do with them. Don't worry, we'll take it step by step. Let's get to work. First, take the steak out of the refrigerator. Try not to go bankrupt. Almost everything in the kitchen costs money. Plates, products, and especially repairs. Don't take more than you need and keep an eye on your balance. Once you're out of money, you're out of business. Let's put it somewhere. The cooking board will do. Now pick up the salt and use it on the steak. Sprinkle four grams. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, was that six? I think I put six on the... I'm not entirely sure. It could be a bit of a salty steak, this one. <laughs> Pick up product. Where are we going? Oh, hang on, we're putting... Wait, we're doing pepper. We're doing pepper. Uh... Right click. To rotate. Oh, I see. Ah, ooh.
Yeah, six grams. So you gotta you gotta be consistent. It's a very salty, very peppery steak. Don't tell me you two containers are already too confusing for you. Black pepper. We need four grams of black pepper. I just put four grams of black pepper on it. What are you talking about, bro? Right. <laughs> put it down. It's like honestly, it's now got like ten grams of pepper on it. <laughs> this is gonna be. I wasn't missing the steak, Whiteland. There's only a bit one off the side. Send the griddle on, All right? Target the steak. That green bar indicates when the food is cooked. The little pan icon inform, informs you that it's been fried. <laughs> it wasn't six grams on the board. Precise landing of tools in the kitchen is crucial. Holding down shift will open up new ways to manipulate whatever you're currently holding in your hand. Move vertically. You want to fry both sides of the steak, so we need to flip it. Target the steak using the spatula. Once the steak is on the spatula, target the griddle and enter context. Hold the key to flip. Jeez, man, you're making this sound complicated. Uh, rotate. There we go. Find a plate in the pantry. There should be one somewhere on the shelf. Dude, that's going to burn. Can we can we put this down somewhere? Well, it's just going to burn if we leave it here. We can't put it there. It won't let us. Can we put it on, straight on the plate then? Oh, my God. It's going to make me put it down, isn't it? Leave it. How do we tell him? Is that off now? Find the plate in the pantry. I'm trying, bro. Put down the tool. It won't let me put down the tool. Would somebody move this? I don't get this. I don't know how to get rid of the spatula. I can click like that. But now when I try and exit the griddle, it takes it with me. But then when I've got the thing, I can't actually pick this up. I'm trying to put the spatula down. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh my God. It won't let me put the spatula down. Right, put it down there. It kept saying no. Right, now we've got it. Now we've got it. It didn't help that somebody left a flipping vacuum cleaner in the middle of the floor, did it? Right. Put the plate down for now. What are we doing over here? Wait, we appear to be missing a steak. Obviously, wait, what? How did the steak get on the floor? Okay, we can still serve it. It's fine. The customer won't know. Now we'll take the cutting board. <laughs> what do you mean you fell off the plate? Go to the pantry and buy two potatoes. <laughs> what do we do with this? One potato. Two potato. Now I'll take them back to the countertop. We'll need to cut them. Oh boy. Right, we've got the knife. Uh, cut, cancel, reset position, A and D, rotate. Ooh, look at this. You get fine grain control. It's okay, you can put the knife aside. No, 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 I'm having too much fun. No, no, I'm going to keep cutting. I like this. This is this is good. This is therapeutic. 
Let's see how, how small a piece we can actually make. Can we make mash? I want to make some mash. Okay, cancel. Right, uh, put that back. Don't waste your time. Your fryer takes a while to fill up. He's so naggy. Yeah, that took so long. Take the basket. Pick up the potato pieces and put them into the basket. Just target them and use the basket. Okay. There must be an easy way. Can we not just scrape them into the... Because that's what normal people would do, not pick each one up individually. Okay. Let me stick it straight in. Take the deep fryer and put the basket inside. Okay. Now wait for the fries to cook. Yeah, I think you had to do them individually, yeah. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Get the plate with the steak. Now transfer the fried potatoes to the plate. Uh, tight. We missed one. No. Can we just put that in there? Turn that off. Can we eat that? Okay. <laughs> I think it picked it up a bit too quickly. <laughs> the guy. This is why we made too many. Wait, where are we going with this? What did he tell me to do with this? Garnish the plate with two rosemary twigs. Oh my god. It's time to serve your dish. Curious how it turned out. Bring it to the checkout counter and left at the exit. Take a photo of your dish. Serve the dish. Hey, that doesn't look too bad to me. That's not, that's not bad. I'll eat that. What do you mean straight in the bin? I'll eat that. Hang on, how do you take a photo? F. Yeah. Oh, that's our very first dish. Right. Steak with fries. There it goes. Off to the customer. Realization time. Four stars. Taste. Three and a half. We got nine cooking points. They paid 45. I don't know what C is. Croutons? 45 croutons with a 5 crouton tip. And the plate returned 5 croutons. Total oh, yeah, 55. Yeah, yeah. Guest is pleased. I'll take it. Half of it's on the floor, but I'll take it. Citation max, less than a week. Epic. Max, did you see the pictures earlier of the plane I'm looking at? Yeah? Did you see that? Went looking at a plane this morning, Max. Out of flying it and stuff. It's not raw, dude. Agador Spartacus, today's special. Flawed steak and fries. Congratulations, you served a full dish. Now, how does it feel? Ready to take on the challenge of this kitchen on your own? If not, you can always come back for lesson two. Or lesson or two. Hang on, Max. I'll quickly show you pictures. One second, dude. Just for anybody else that missed them. Uh, there you go, Max. Golf, golf, echo, echo, P. Papa. Keep. Keep. Went flying it this morning, Max. Had a look around the plane. What do you think? 180 brake, horsepower. Cruises at 115 knots. Four seats, Max. Look, it's even got feet. It's got little shoes on. Cockpit's okay. It doesn't have a built-in GPS. It has a one that's clamped onto here. But, you know, 
115 knots, 8 gallons an hour max. And it's going to cost me, I think, um, I think it's 130 pounds a month for hangar insurance and 90 an hour to fly it. Or 80 an hour, one of the two, I can't remember. Yeah, it's, it's not like amazing. It's built in 1980. It's got a nice radio stack, PLB, high vis vests, all the stuff in the back there, four seats. Eh, it's not bad, is it? So, anyway, I'm going to get him to send over all the paperwork. As in the last annual finances of the group, that kind of thing. And then I may I may buy a share. But the plane's like really, really available, Max. It means I could book it for like days on end if I want to go somewhere. And, and this is the best thing, Max. The airfield is 30 minutes down the road from me. It's like the nearest airfield I could fly out of. 30 minutes away. Less than if I put my foot down. Which of course I don't. Interior reminds you of a Volvo 850. It's actually the airfield, Max, is in Stansted's airspace. <laughs> so you have to take off, keep under 1500 and quickly turn away, otherwise you'll fly straight into Stansted. Availability is awesome. Last month, the plane, in a busy month, was booked no more than 50%, and a lot of the availability was in the weekdays when I fly. Next month, I think there's only three bookings. Two of the guys don't even fly it. Like <laughs> they're just rich, own shares in plane and never fly it. How does that work? It's built for slow driving, Baz. Yeah, sure, mate. That's why it has a three liter V6 diesel in it because it's dead slow. <laughs> yeah, devil dude. See, whenever whenever I get a fine in the air, that's that's on you. Let's try seasoning. Today's lesson is short, but the skill you'll learn will determine whether you get tips or have to wrestle the guests some money. Well, I'm happy to wrestle them. Learn the basics of how to season food. Yeah, two of the group don't even fly it. Target the salt container. Uh, notice the number on the label. It shows how much spice is left in the container. Okay. No, you don't get air fines. It was a joke. Look down. Now there's a container of salt on the countertop. Notice how much spice is left. Now pick it up. Target the salmon and use the container to enter sprinkle mode. Aim for the fillet and use the container until you see the seasoned fish with three grams of salt. That was easy. It gets a lot harder, but the product is to uh, cut the products into pieces. Better practice your aim then. Okay. That was like the quickest ever tutorial. Advanced buying. I've shown you previously how to buy products from shelves. However, not everything can be found just lying around. Today, you'll learn how to buy everything you need and more. See the cardboard box? I need you to walk up to it. Now target the box. Okay. This is the shop screen. Items are split into four categories and by and default sorted alphabetically. Spices and liquids can only be bought here, and they only come in larger amounts, so be prepared to pay handsome fees. If you have trouble keeping track of your tools and pots, you can buy additional ones from the utensils tab. Be aware that quality doesn't come cheap. <laughs> now go to liquids. Avocado oil. The tabs at the bottom of the menu determine the sorting order. I want you to select the rightmost tab. Products shown... Uh, should now be sorted according to their price descending. If you haven't noticed, prices are denoted on the far right in green or in red if you don't have sufficient funds. I want you to select avocado oil from the list. Now buy a bottle. Once you buy an item, you leave the shop. Now you only you can only buy one item at a time. No tricks with a container this time. Well done. Don't forget the lesson. Many items can be bought this way. 
Okay. Uh, excited to see more flying videos. Also, hope you do more explain streaming. Last time was fantastic. Particularly enjoyed all the little piece of knowledge you shared with us. Thanks, Tree. Yeah, um, want to get back from the holes. If I can get this show in this plane, then I'll definitely be up in the air a lot more. And uh, I want to find out if they'll let me fit uh, an underwing camera mount point. What was the max take of kilograms, boss? The, uh, they mean the max takeoff weight. I think it was 1,180, I believe. Right, we've done all then, I think. Yeah, it's closed. Right, okay. New game, cooking school, sandbox mode. Welcome to the kitchen. As you've already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. Your task is to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level of prestige. The last chef left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe they'll be of some use. Good luck. Do you want to follow the tutorial during the first day? Yeah. Hi, I'm the manager of this place. Since it's your first day, I'll show you the ropes. Before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost. Oh my God. One, key binding hints are always displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen. Two, during the tutorial, you can view the tasks in the bottom left corner of the screen. Three, this tutorial will auto save between stages. If you get lost or stuck, you can always go back. It looks like the left owner left the place in the state. Yeah, you're not kidding. Get the phone, we need to call some professionals. It's amazing. We need to get the gas cooker running at ASAP. Follow the marker, take the phone with you. It'll take ages to prepare that thing. We better hire someone that's fast while we're hovering over the cooker. Use the mouse wheel to select a company, then left us. Okay. Right, so depending on how much money we want to spend, dictates how much it's going to cost us. So three minutes, 50 croutons. That's not a bad one. Half a time for 75 croutons. That's better. Nice corp. Although these guys do it a lot cheaper. Look at that. That's like half the price. Dodgy repairs. What do you reckon? Let's go dodgy repairs. Oh, do we need to fix everything? Why won't they fix that? Oh, they're busy. We can't hire them, they're busy. Well, we'll get the we'll get this one done cheaper. Put the phone away. You won't be needing it anytime soon, I hope. Uh -huh. Now time to take a breather. The place is empty and we're going to do something about it. <laughs> First you need to find some utensils. Find the cardboard boxes. Hover over one and press to open. Utensils and buy a blender. I like blenders. Let's buy a blender. 250? Wait, can we not buy a second-hand one or something? That's way too much money. It's not even any good, look at it. The blender away. Wait, what's wrong with this blender? Oh, blend as well. It'll be faster, what'd she say? Be faster if you move the box or something. I missed that. What she? What does she want us to do? 
Press E to pick up. Use the shop to buy equipment from the list. Wow, look at this. Like new. Uh, buy a baking tray. Uh, two big pots. Uh, use a shop to buy equipment from the list. Cutting board. Definitely the cutting board. Put that right here. We're going to need a knife. Can you play darts on your break? I assume 300 for a knife. How can a pan cost 125 and a knife cost 300? Are you actually serious? Three. That's all I got. <gasps> treble 20! Get in! On his third ever go, treble 20. Beat that. With a knife. <laughs> Right, put that in there. We need a pan. Where should we put the pan? Put it on here for now. And a spatula. Who's financing all this? No, stop saving. See? We'll just, we'll just put it, we'll just put it there. There we go. Wait, is that a timer? Set up timer. Yeah, you should be able to hang them up. They should put like, oh yeah, you can. Genius. A show on a plane and a speedboat from Bullseye. I haven't got the show yet. Right, use the laptop. We don't have any recipes, apparently. Click on the recipe manager on the left. Click on the not own tab. Buy a recipe for baked trout by clicking the highlighted button. Ooh, baked trout. Ooh. Wait, how do we buy this? That costs nothing, apparently. Let's see, something easy I know, but buy salmon and something. Salmon and steak or something. What did she say? Was it that? Salmon with asparagus, maybe? Salmon steak and boiled potatoes? I needed to say it again. I don't know what she said. But we don't have any... It must have been that, because that's the only one that costs zero. Last one, tomato soup classic. I should do for now. We'll improve our menu once business gets rolling. I agree. I'm tempted to play the countdown music.
Fantastic. It actually works. Right, enter the shop view and buy salt. Come on, handyman. Nice. What do these labels say? Grill party every afternoon. Those were the days. In case of an emergency. What could possibly go wrong? I will never put a fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Oh boy, that's costing money. Probably. Can't actually stop the plug, can you? Right, anyway, how do we get to the shop? Head to the shop, buy salt. Click on the box, I assume. Spices, salt. Buy the listed spices. Right. Uh, is it dried dill? Black pepper and cayenne pepper. Black pepper. And pepper. I don't know where we're supposed to store these. Dried horseradish. I didn't even know it existed. Dried thyme. We can have that. Buy listed liquids. Uh, chicken broth. So work out where we're going to put all these things because we need some organization here. What happens if something falls in that middle bit? How are you supposed to get that back? Need a spice rack. Well, we have, we have this, don't we? We have this. At this rate, I'll end up as a regular guest. What did she say? Right, we'll need a trout. Let's find the refrigerator, shall we? Cost us seven croutons to buy a trout. Season the trout with five grams of black pepper. Okay. Uh, dried dill, five grams. Nope, put that down. It's very precise cooking. Right, put the trout on the baking tray. Uh, no, you can use as many trays, you can use many trays at the same time. Now leave it for 90 seconds. That's a minute, that'll do. Buy a lemon. Is that a lemon? Let's 
Lemon on the cutting board. Now what? What do we do now? Cut the lemon into four pieces. Now it tells us what to do. The fish is raw. Well, the fish is in the oven, though. See, that, that looks burnt to me, but it can't be. Dark Holiday, thank you for 26 months. Kennedy, thank you for a year. HM the Queen. We can now do this from the iOS app. It's about time. Keep the good work. Try not to poison anyone, though. You know it's going to happen. Buy a plate. Oh, boy. What do we buy a plate? You quickly transfer from the container. Welcome back, Nutter. Five grams of horseradish. Wait, lemon quarters and target them used to... What is this? Happy anniversary, Nutter. Will that do? Let's get a rating. Hey, that's not bad. We five starred it. Uh, do you know how much this game will be when it comes out? I don't know. Quantum. I don't know. Fame, eight out of 30. We five starred it. The guest paid 31 croutons for that and gave us a 10 crouton tip. 46 and the guest is complete, is pleased. Genius. Fish and lemon. We can do it. After each day, you're presented with the summary of the progress the restaurant's made. The goal is to reach five-star fame rating. As you can see, there's a still a lot ahead of us. Yeah, I'll say. And please don't go bankrupt. <gasps> Expenses, 1288. Total income, one, minus 1247. Oh, my God. The investment is real. The level summary shows how much experience you've gained today. Experience points come primarily from serving dishes and doing daily quests. Once you get enough experience, you'll automatically level up. Okay. Choose a perk. Oh, perks are very powerful, unique abilities. Once every few levels, you'll be given an option to choose one. This choice can be post can't be postponed or undone. So take your time and pick what you think is the most useful. That's a lot of perks. You need to try and use only as much spice as you need. I know, because you have to buy it. I like that aspect of the game. If you break plates, if you use too much spices, like it's all coming out of your own pocket. You get three additional skill points instead of unlocking a perk. Hmm. Steady hands, hold down shift to freeze items in place while cutting. That implies items move around. Fast feet, hold on shift to walk faster. Unbreakable plates, plates will never break. Unbreakable bottles, heat-proof gloves. Pick up and carry hot ingredients in your hands. Long reach, longer reach when picking up and putting down items. Refund an order to save your fame score. Refund an order to save your fame score. That, that could be very, very useful. Because when we met, if, if we mess things up, if we mess things up, we can get a refund. Thermal vision, learn the temperature of ingredients in a closed oven. What? 
Lower score requirements to pass the food critics exams. Hmm. Busy day. Starts every day with two daily quests instead of one. That sounds very good. That sounds like that's going to get you some really cool stuff. Slow motion. Time slows down while cutting ingredients. What? That's epic. Time enhancer. Once per day, add one minute to all active orders. Time rewinder. Once per day, reset the timer of an active order. See, time rewind and refund, they strike me as they're going to be quite useful. Reroll the order. Once per day, replace an active order with a random one. Okay. Dish analyzer. Check the dish's score before serving it to the guest. That almost negates, almost negates that. Because with that one, you can tell if you're about to serve something that's rubbish. With that one, if you serve something rubbish, you can get the refund. Grants a magic wand that removes all stains and shards. <laughs> what? Oh, boy. What do you think, guys? There are far too many good items here. Bullet time for cooking. I love it. I like that one for getting more stuff. I like refund for its ability to like unwind something. That I like because you can tell if it's any good before you serve it. Get mum hands. Why would you want mum? What, you mean that? Or that? I, I think it's a toss up between, see, do you think refund is better than dish analyzer? Because with this one, you can make sure that you're not going to serve something rubbish anyway. Busy day sounds like something you're gonna that's gonna get you more money. That's for sure. I think you would want to, something to optimize profit at first. Busy day will be useless unless experienced. There is that. I'm kind of thinking that if we keep messing things up, busy day is not any good. If you analyze and find it's rubbish, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to throw it away and not serve it. Is what you're going to do. You're going to lose money rather than lose fame. With this one, see, it says refund in order to save your fame score. So that means you sell it to the customer, they say, this is rubbish, and then you say, well, we'll give you a refund. That means more money goes out of your pocket. Happy yeah, hang on a minute. That means money goes out of your pocket in order to, and they don't, it doesn't reduce your fame score because you give them a refund. They go, oh, this dish is rubbish, and you go, okay, here's your refund. So yeah, pay to save your rating is what that is. This one can can make sure that you don't serve something rubbish. It's still going to cost you money, but you don't serve it. Study hands for precise cutting, which means better serving. Mm, I'd like to find out if that's a problem before we get that. Kleshnikov, thank you for 29 months. Cameron, welcome back. Uh, Gregius, I hope this game will teach us how to make toast properly. <laughs> Doc Holiday with 26 months. Um, did I miss other people earlier? Cessna Pilot 172, welcome back. B Saber with two years sub to the best streamer on Twitch. Keep up the great work. Thank you, B Saber, for two years, mate. Railworks, four months hype. Uh, Red Devil with 17. Tamashanta with 41. Can it do a barrel roll? Lol. Uh, Agador, today's special. Flawed Steak and Fries. Citation Max with 32. Quinton with seven. Big Time Farm with 41 months. Y2 Geeky, welcome back. Frostbite, a shiny new golden nut. Thank you for two years again. Welcome Frostbite. Back, McKenna with 56. SD, uh, Stig 101 with 200 bits. Thank you, Stig. Thank you very much for the bits, sir. Um, and Lord Imperius, we did. So I think we're up to date now with Riverman. Welcome back, Riverman. You're thinking if the dishes aren't too hard in the start, the analyzer won't be used, but steady hands will be useful all of the time. 
don't you think though that it would be better to find out if if like if your hands are really shaky then yes but if they're not i mean i didn't see a problem when we were cutting things i didn't really have an issue with it oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean that that could potentially be useful in the beginning yeah, because when we're cutting things up, we're wasting time. Whereas with this, every time we're cutting things up, time slows down, which gives us more time to... Because I'm not going to be quick in the beginning, am I? Doc Holiday! Paul, I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for a thousand bits, Doc Holiday. Thank you very much, sir. Very kind support, thanks. You have to be precise on certain dishes. Maybe later on. Go for unbreakable to save money breaking plates and wasting food. Or just not drop stuff. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with slowing time down. Skill points are used to unlock and upgrade skills. With each skill, with each level, you get a certain amount of skill points. Spend them immediately or save them for later. Dish income boost. How many have we got? Got skill points available, three. Guests pay 10, 30, 50% more for their orders without affecting the score. That sounds like it could be useful. You earn 10, 36% more cooking points from served dishes. That sounds useful. Your rewards from daily quests are 10, 30, 60% larger. So I'm guessing you put one skill point in, you get 10%. You put two skill points in, you get 30%, right? Up to a maximum of three. Am I looking forward to my trip to the States? I'll be glad to get on that plane network. It's been a stupidly busy week for me. I'll be glad to get on that plane. <laughs> I've not even packed. I'm not even joking. Uh, cheaper kitchen decorations. Oh, and tomorrow... Oh, yeah, I actually, I need to mention this. <laughs> tomorrow, guys, I need to stream from 1 till 6 p.m., and then I seriously need to go and pack, so... You're probably thinking, is there going to be no Sunday night trucking? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Sunday afternoon trucking instead. So I'm going to start streaming at 1 tomorrow, and I'll be doing trucking. And then I'm going to finish at 6, and then I'm going to go and pack. And tomorrow afternoon, during Sunday afternoon trucking, I will be announcing something. Um, something that happened this week, which is quite significant for my YouTube channel. And really, really cool. So I want to tell you about that tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow's going to be S80 rather than SNT. <laughs> Sunday afternoon trucking. Yeah, it's something really cool that happened this week. I'm going to tell you all tomorrow about it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really, really big deal. Motley, there is PO Box actually, yes. And it says on it, do not open unless it's Sunday night trucking. So I don't know if that... I could probably open it at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Paul got promoted to the boss of YouTube. Yeah, that's it. How did you guess? Aye, 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 aye. Doc Holiday, thank you for 200 bits. A cliffhanger. Stay tuned. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so Cole, thank you for 1991. 41 months. When is cooking sim? Back to uh, going to be IRL. I'd love to see what a squirrel has a favourable dish. Um, No plans for that, So Cole. No plans for that. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you tomorrow afternoon what it is. Squirrel TV channel on Sky. Yeah, right. I'm too good for Sky. Chain four star dishes. No, we're going to do that. Earn ten percent more fame points. That could be good. Twenty percent more fame for one skill point. That that sounds worth having to me. Liquids cost less. Products cost less. Buying and upgrading recipes cost less. Equipment repairs are cheaper. Oh, yeah. Spices cost less. Guest tips are 20% larger. Equipment repairs are faster. Derpers and gourmets have expectations lowered. What's a derper? Uh, I leave on Tuesday with my wife and daughter for FS Expo, and then to Miami, and then to Cuatro, Mexico to see the in-laws. You'll be away for 28 days. I shall definitely see you at the Expo, then. That's it, Railworks. I'm on Love Island, mate. That's what it is. 
PC Tech, thank you for the bits. FS Expo hype, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the biddies. Phil Do, four months, thank you, Phil Do. Dish tolerance increase, duration of cleaning phase, overtime dishes extended. There are so many options here. Serve time for dishes is extended. That could be worth getting. Products need two times more to burn. I'm getting that. I'm so getting that. We're having that one. Now, now things will take twice as long before they burn. Products lose their temperature two times slower. Equipment breaks down slower. Pain points. Right. Guests pay more for the orders without affecting the score. We need to get something that's going to boost our income and stuff. Kitchen decorations are cheaper. I don't care about that. Uh, fame points. Product costing less. Spices cost less. What was the one that said um, customers pay more money? Yeah, the larger tips one. Where's that gone? Donation phase. There we go. Better tips. We'll get that one as well. So we've got more tips. Things take twice as long to burn. You've got to sort out the rental car. You don't know which company to pick, friends. I went with 6T. S-I-X-T. 6T. If you're flying into Orlando, they have a a free shuttle bus that takes you to their pickup point 10 minutes away. And their prices are pretty reasonable. Like I got, um, oh, I got a big yeah, yeah, yeah. like SUV, similar to the SUV I've got now. It's a big grand Jeep or something. I can't remember. Um, and it's like $40 a day or something. So they're, they're pretty good value. The dudeness. I watched all your, my summer cars videos, bought the game on Tuesday, bought a wheel and have become addicted. I fully blame you. I am so sorry, dudeness. Rip your life, mate. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Thank you for the delivery. Maybe the general increase in payment for the final skill. Uh, was that the one down here? Oh, that was lose less fame. Serve time for dishes extended. Which one, which one was it now? Was that a sub bomb? I think it was. Soul Call, 1991. Welcome has gifted five subs. Thank you very much, Soul Call. Three new ones and two resumes. If you just got gifted a sub, please remember to thank Soul Call. Thank you for your support, sir. Guess pay more without affecting the score. Let's do that. Welcome Day two. Mata. I think the tutorial just ended for day one, didn't it? Are you excited as I am? Remember, everything you serve today will affect your reputation. And holy sub bomb from Doc Holiday. Let's do this. Make this the best restaurant in the city. This is what we call the preparation phase. The name should tell the story. No orders yet, but you can use anything in the kitchen to prepare for the day. Make sure to prepare the ingredients you'll be using. Get a head start on some of the dishes. It's also a good idea, as long as you know what you're doing. You know what else? It's also a great opportunity to review the laptop. Doc Holiday, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. Please remember to give Doc Holiday a thank you, guys, if you just got a sub from him. It's very kind. Can I save this? Because I know this is going to be a... Oh, my God. Look at that file name. Day 2. Use the laptop. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Open the skill manager app using the left side menu. Wait, what? We just did all this. We literally just did this. Welcome back, Mata. This is a repetition of what we just did. Oh my god, the sub bomb again. Who's this from? Ay, ay, ay. Dana T? You guys are unbelievable. Dana T. Let's just drop 10 subs. Holy moly, you guys today. What's going on? Thank you very much for dropping 10 subs on the on the community, Dana T. If you just got a sub, 
It could have been from Doc Holiday. It could have been from Dana T. <laughs> You'll have to have a look in chat to see who gave it to you. Thank you so very much for your support, guys. And Cameron, thank you for the tip, mate. $2.21 tip. No message. Thank you, Cameron. Oh, no. We're a long way off a new badge, Welcome Giddy. Back. Basically, our sub count went up like that as we went into Christmas, and then it peaked, and then after Christmas, it comes back down again, and then it levels off. That's normally how things go. Imp! How you doing, sir? <laughs> yeah, look, you can reset all the skill Welcome points and spend back. them again in case you mess up. That's nice. Here can you review already owned perks and on which levels you'd be learning new ones. Time slows down while cutting your greens. Once you're done here, you can exit the laptop. Yeah, so that was the perk I took. Hence, kid, if I were you, I'd check out the recipes we'll be serving today before you leave. The recipes we're serving today. Well, it can't be anything but these three because that's all we can actually make anyway. Um... Tomato soup. Chicken broth. You know, we can actually buy some stuff. Imp, my aircon is working splendidly. I was flying this morning, and even at 10 a.m. this morning, it was 25 Celsius. So we could buy some ingredients and put them in the fridge, couldn't we? Like chicken broth and stuff. All these things here we don't worry about. Tomatoes and onions, do we have to chop them up? To the this is going to be a mess. This is, oh my God. The Doc Holiday, having dropped 10 subs, has just dropped 20 subs. This guy is insane. Welcome Thank you so very much, Doc Holiday. Epic supports there. 20 more subs in the nut house. A bunch of new ones. Half of them are new. Half of them are resubs. So some people who have never been a sub in the nut house, you've just got a sub. Thanks to Doc Holiday. Happy and if you want to know how to connect to the sub Discord server, just give it an hour and then ask, ask a mod how you can get in. You have to wait for it to show up in Discord.